before this year is over, this ground will hold the nation's first solar highway project. And Oregon will make history using the power of the sun to light this interchange. The Oregon Department of Transportation as an agency requires 45 megawatt hours a year in order to power the electricity we need to run things like these big lights. And this array alone is going to provide enough electricity to power about a third of the load of all the lighting and, and signage and other facilities on this interchange. These panels will produce power during the day, put it on to the Portland General Electric grid, and then PGE is going to return an equivalent amount of power during the night to light the interchange. So in the depth of winter, when you come through this interchange and the lights are on, you'll know that it was those lights are being powered by solar power. I was watching Oregon Public Broadcasting one night and they had a Nova special called Saved by the Sun. And that showed solar panels alongside the, the Autobahn outside of Freiburg, Germany. And it was like a little bell went off in my head and I thought, well, if they could do that there, why can't we do that here? So I went back to my office, thought about it a little bit, and wrote up a little piece of paper for ODOT's management, ODOT's leadership. Um, asking them if they would entertain the thought of us putting solar panels alongside the right-of-way. ODOT said, sure, great idea, go ahead and build this, but don't spend any of our money. So that made it a little challenging. So I asked the solar industry, actually, for advice on how to get this done. And what I learned was there is a way to get it done through, the, the solar, through a mechanism called a solar power purchase agreement and a solar license agreement. And what that is, is you get the financing for a project paid for with state and federal tax credits and utility incentives, um, accelerated depreciation, and all the solar host has to do is provide the place where the panels go. Okay, basically the, the power of the sun falls upon the uh, array right here, and uh, the array the crystalline um, cells basically produce DC power. Those are collected and transferred to an inverter. An inverter, what it does is it converts the DC power from the array panels into AC power, which is what you would see on a power line. The power then comes out of the inverter, flows through a meter over here so that we can measure the amount of, of energy that's produced for ODOT and for research purposes. And then the power is stepped up through this transformer that's on site. And there's conduit and wire that runs across the freeway over to the PGE power line um, across the freeway. So we're able to then export the power from the site here to the PGE grid. And essentially, the PG grid works as a giant battery system, so the power that's produced during the daytime is sent to PGE, used by other customers, and then PGE then essentially takes the power at night from other sources and pays essentially the site back by providing power to light the uh, lighting interchange. But we keep track of how much is produced here versus how much the lighting needs so that uh, basically then ODOT then can see the benefit of the uh, output of the array on their, uh, on their power bills. Well, we wanted to make sure this project was done well. Uh, one of the, uh, what the biggest issue is safety to the motoring public. You absolutely want to put in a solar array so it complements and does not compromise the safety of the motoring public. That's job one. What we did is we talked to the industry and they came back and they said, well, nobody's ever put solar arrays in the middle of an interchange before or on operating right away. Well, we needed people who, who could see the vision, who bought into the vision, who were willing to take the risk and who were willing to make the investment. Um, people who could see beyond just a demonstration project and where the future could be. When I asked Portland General Electric if they would build the first solar highway project in the nation, they said yes.
Also a very forward-thinking utility. We provided the structure of the financing for the project itself. Uh, we found uh, an investment bank. Uh, it's a, uh, a larger bank that has a, a very strong local presence. We brought them in. We utilized the BETSI, the Business Energy Tax Credit here in Oregon, and the Federal Tax Investment uh, Tax Credit. And we used those and we monetized those to put cash into the deal. Uh, all it means is that we took what was a tax credit, which is not cash, and so you sell that to an investor and that creates cash and that cash goes into the deal. Our organization was created to have a triple bottom line and that bottom line is financial, social, and environmental. A project like this really helps to hit all three of those bottom lines. This project is notable not just for being a first of its kind in Oregon, but also because it uses suppliers from Oregon's growing cluster of solar businesses. Proving that being more sustainable isn't just the right thing to do, it also provides great economic development opportunities for Oregon. Like our partners, PGE worked hard to make this project happen because we try to reflect our customers' values in all that we do. And our customers, like all Oregonians, have sent a clear message. They are looking for reliable, reasonably priced power that is generated in an increasingly sustainable way. We are very excited to take part in the solar highway projects for a number of reasons. The most of which is, is we need to educate the public, we need to educate our kids. When they see a solar installation by the side of the road, it opens the conversation. I can't tell you how many times just out in the community, people know I work at PV Power. They'll say, hey, I was driving by that solar installation. Uh, you know, what's up with that? It gives me a chance to explain to them what's going on in renewable energy, what's going on in solar power. It opens the conversation. Educating our populace is one of the first and most critical steps in deploying these kinds of renewable technologies. So this is a hundred and almost 10,000 square foot facility that we're just gone through and you're in the first phase of this facility that we've renovated. What we have done here is literally taking an old wood products facility that is, you know, the classic example of the old green economy. And we're turning it into what is the future green economy. And that's all about renewables and solar. We look at really within a matter of a year or two, filling this whole place literally with the manufacturing, design and engineering, as well as marketing and, and, and kind of general administrative support to be a worldwide leader, exporting these products literally to every region of the world. We need a new business model. The new business model has to be collaborative. Uh, it has to be open book. We're all in this together. We cannot continue to do business the way we've done it in the past. It is one world. Solar World, the fastest growing company in Germany, is now here in Oregon and they share our vision. They can see the solar panels along the rights of way. They, they're a triple bottom line company. They understand that they can't do business the way it used to be done also. Um, they, they build a product from the ground up. They take care of their people. They take care of the resource. They take care of the planet. They're an open book collaborative company. This solar highway project is testament to that vision and is a model for the rest of the nation for how to meet the needs of its citizens while reducing our dependence on traditional sources of fossil fuels. But this project is not just about clean, renewable energy. It is also about meeting the needs of our transportation system. I have said that we can and must invest in our transportation system and at the same time face the challenge of climate change. The inspiration of the Oregon Solar Highway came from within the Oregon Department of Transportation.